If you want to learn 3ds Max completely with V-Ray 6, Typhlo, Character Animation, After Effects, Phoenix FD Fire and Liquid Simulations, you can go ahead and take my course. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create a Typhlo Liquid Simulation. So let's start working on it. First of all we need a tie icon. Move it like this. Decrease the length and width. Ok then we need a collider like box. I'll rotate it little bit. Decrease the length. Like this. And then. <coughs> And then create a tie flow in that tie flow. Open editor. Inside the editor, we need to give birth to some particles. So we are going to use the birth operator and then we are going to use position icon to give them the position of this icon. And then we are going to use. And then we are going to use the speed operator to give them speed along the icon arrow. Like this. You can see the result. Now the next thing we are going to do is to use the particle physics. And then a force operator to create a gravity. And then a collision operator for the collision with the surface and a ground collider. Okay, let's treat it a little bit like this. Now if you go down here you will see the friction, decrease the friction value to 20. Ok now increase the number of particles to 20,000. Decrease the particle physics radius. like this ok now we are going to use the tie measure so from here select the tie flow create a tie measure and then pick the tie flow and now you can see uh, some sort of mesh has been created so the first thing we need to do is to increase the radius and then ding Decrease, increase the voxel size, change the filtering to Gaussian. Okay, so let's disable the Gaussian, increase the radius, increase the voxel size like this, and you can use the mean also, mean, median, any type of method that you like. Better. So we have created the liquid animation and now the one thing you can do is to, to in order to improve it is to increase the number of particles like this but for now let's leave them to 30,000 okay so in order to apply a material to this liquid we can go into V-Ray material editor give it some color increase the reflection you can also increase the refraction and give some transform color 
like this and then render it so that's it in this way you can create a liquid simulation in Typhlo. So this is my channel Zion Horizon. I upload lot of videos on Typhlo, 3ds Max, and Phoenix FD. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of content for you to learn and inspire from.